Yo, what is good? It's Reputate, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the best ways to boost FPS and reduce input delay in Fortnite Season 5 on PC with some simple and easy steps. Enjoy! For this first easy step, you're going to want to make sure you have Fortnite running in the background like so. You can minimize it like this as long as it's running in the background. And then you're going to want to click the Windows key and type in Task Manager and left click that. Now, when you open up your task manager, if it looks like this, you're gonna wanna click the more details arrow right here to bring up this. And then you should see Fortnite right here if it's running. And right click it, and then click go to details. And as you'll see by default, this already is highlighted once I open that up. But if for some reason it's not to find the right thing, you're gonna wanna come down to Fortnite, there should be like three things. You're gonna wanna find the only one that's using CPU cores. And you're gonna wanna right click on it. And then there's this little thing that says set priority. For you guys, it'll be on normal. But what you're gonna wanna do is set it on high. This makes sure that Fortnite runs above and beyond all the other things and background processes in your PC, resulting in higher frames and less input delay, which you will notice. Now I'm going to link a method in the description of how you can automatically get your game to start up on high priority each time, because if you don't do that, every time you start up your game, you're going to have to remember to come in here and do this, it resets back to normal every time, but the good news is, is there a way that it can stay high priority every single time you start up your game. And for some of you, you may get an access denied or you don't have permission to do this. And that method in the description will actually fix that issue as well. For this next step, you're gonna download a widely known and used program known as Timer Resolution. This program will significantly reduce input delay and in some instances even help boost FPS as well. This program is used by many pros and good players as it is extremely effective. So all you're going to want to do is go in the description and there's going to be a download link for timer resolution and when you click on that or copy and paste it and put it in your browser, it will immediately download the correct timer resolution and all you got to do is just click save file and drag it onto your desktop and it should look just like that, I already have it. Now if you don't trust me with that link, you can look up a different video on to how to download it yourself, but I do promise that link is 100% legit and that makes it the most simple as possible. And once you get timer resolution, all you gotta do is, whether your game's open or not, just double click it and it's gonna just look like this and click maximum and bam, your input delay should be cut in half and you will feel a difference. And then do not hit the X, minimize this while you play, do not exit out of it or it won't count. And immediately when you open up your game and go into creative or whatever you go in or just free build, just try editing and it should feel much faster and cleaner. It should feel a lot faster. This really is a great program and I highly suggest all of you use it. You should notice an immediate difference as soon as you start free building or trying practicing your edit. This next step, extremely simple, all you're doing is ending processes running in the background on your PC that you probably didn't even know were running. They're slowly working your CPU, resulting in less CPU power for Fortnite. And all you're going to want to do for this step is come down to the show hidden icons arrow at the bottom right of your desktop and click it. Now as you see, there's quite a bit of things here. It will vary from person to person. Now like Steam, I'm not using that, so what I'm gonna wanna do is right click it and hit exit. Steel Series, I'm not using it now. I'm gonna right click it and hit exit. Do this with everything that you know you're not using that you see down here. Now the Epic Games Launcher, that is a big one. Once you start up Fortnite, you no longer need it. You can come down here and hit exit. It's something that runs in the background and by ending it should free up a little bit of space. Now like for an example, this, I use it to get my clips. This saves my key bonds. So like you can't close everything, but close everything that you can. And to take this step even farther, you can come in your task manager as we did at the beginning of the video and look through things here that you know that are that are running that you can delete or end the task by right clicking and hitting end task but you got to be careful because a lot of windows processes are in here and you do not want to end any 
Windows processes like this because that could screw up your computer. For this next step, you click the Windows key and then you type in Graphic Settings. And once you do that, this should pop up, left click it, and bam, you're in here. Now make sure this drop down arrow is set on desktop app, and then what you're going to want to do is click browse. And what you're going to want to do, I for some reason it brings me here, but click just click on this PC on the side right there as you can see. Click on your local disk, C drive, and then in here you're going to follow me closely. Click program files, and scroll down to Epic Games, double click that. Double click Fortnite, double click Fortnite game, double click binaries, double click Win64, and then this should pop up. Now what you're going to want to do, the one that says Fortnite client dash Win64 dash shipping, out of all these it should be the first one in here, the one without all the extra stuff. The way you're going to know it's the right one is this KB number, by the right one it's a lot higher than all the other ones. And you're going to want to just click it once and then come down here and click add. Now I already have it down here obviously. But once you get it down here it will pop up right there. You're going to want to click on it and hit options. And this should pop up right here. You're going to want to click high performance graphic or just high performance and hit save. Now for this to take effect, I think you need to restart your PC, but when you do restart your PC and open up Fortnite, you will hopefully notice higher FPS, but most importantly, even lower input delay with this step right here. But you should see both because this really does works in putting performance over quality. These are my in-game settings specifically optimized in order to get the greatest amount of FPS and reduce input delay the most. These settings are very similar if not the same to a lot of pros out there. And there are some things such as DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 that can vary but in general these settings are great. Thank you so much for watching, please drop a like on the video if these tips helped you as I really do appreciate it and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I will see you in the next video.